guys and welcome to this clown skull blend all the products i'm going to be using are is from lookfantastic.com and the this website is just a uk based website i mean anybody can shop on it but if you don't have uk makeup items in your store this is a perfect place to find them like revolution beauty all this good stuff so i got this foundation right here which is the illamasqua skin base foundation i fell in love with it i read reviews for it and I never really see Illamasqua anywhere. But guys, they do have US stuff. So don't just think all they have is UK products. Like they have Estee Lauder. Obviously I'm gonna be using like Maybelline stuff, but they have so many things. And you'll see in a little bit how you can get things in bulk. So that is like the number one thing I love about this website. But before I get into that, I am just going to place this foundation heavily on my skin. It is a lot lighter than me because we are doing some type of theatrical makeup look. I want to try to get this look before Halloween. Obviously, push it out. Hopefully, you guys have time. Yes, it is a blend of a skull and clown look. You'll see why. So now I'm using the Maybelline Eraser Concealer. So I think this is UK only, but it is there it's the same thing kind of as the instant age rewind concealer and i got this in a pack of three which is the coolest thing ever because i never find my shade and light in the stores it's always sold out so it's great that this website offers this and it comes at like an amazing deal so now i'm just blending out the concealer i love this concealer it's one of my favorites it's super easy to blend out and yeah this is just the base pretty much so something else i picked up that i've never seen before is the her powder I think that's how you say it. it's their loose translucent powder and it kind of smells like banana powder and it comes with this cool little powder puff thing I mean I don't really use these things but it did do a really good job of blending in that foundation so I love that and I just kind of patted it all over my skin before I kind of just really cooked my face because you are gonna want to bake with this look then I am going to do my eyebrows now, and I got this also from Look Fantastic. It is the NYX Eyebrow Pencil in Blonde, I believe. And of course, this is, you can find NYX everywhere, but like I said, they had such good deals on a lot of their products, so I went and got this one right here. And I just kind of shaped my eyebrows. The spoolie is really great. My first time using that. So now I am taking the Cremated Palette by Jeffree Star and using the color called Life Insurance. No, this palette is not from Look Fantastic. I am just using this for the tutorial. So like I said, you, I'm going to blend Life Insurance all over my lid. I love this palette. It is incredible. And I just want to pack that color right on the lid so we can get this punch of gray. I, this palette is just so pigmented and I love the matte colors. Then I'm going to take the color called Burial Gown, I think that's what it says, and just kind of blend it on top. Just kind of like a light grayish green beige color. And just, like I said, just blending it. The eyes aren't the main focus of this, it is gonna be the rest of the face. Then I am going to take the color called Eulogy, and this is going to create that nice, smoky, winged out eye look. So we're just going to be blending that out as well. We're just going to keep on adding more of that on top of each other before we get into a darker shade right here. And I think this one's called Morgue, the Morgue, and you just place it right over. This isn't my palette, by the way. I have sisters. We borrow each other's makeup. So that's why you never really see me use this, and I'm not that familiar with the shadow names. Of course, you're going to repeat on the other eye. And I'm just going to quickly do this because you already saw me do my eyeshadow, but in case you got lost at any moment, I'm just packing on these colors. Yeah, and a cat eye motion. Then from Look Fantastic, I have this liquid eyeliner by Maybelline and it is matte. I love matte liquid eyeliners. It is so pigmented, I love it. I did change to my other Rimmel London liquid eyeliner just because I didn't wanna use too much because I'm gonna wipe all this makeup off right after. Then I'm taking this dark gray. I went too fast for the camera. If you guys know the palette, you'll know. It's just a darker gray eyeshadow and blending under my lash line before we do like the clown triangle effect. And then we're doing that on the other eye. So this is a skull blend 
clown. I thought it was unique, something different. Usually people just go with skull or a clown, but I just thought it was simple and a very good last minute clown. I mean, not clown only, but a last minute costume idea. If you don't wanna wear a costume, but you just like to go all out with makeup, you can do this effect. I love the whole triangle under the eye thing. I think people are really good at it and I just absolutely love it. So we are just creating this triangle effect and we're gonna just make it look gray and then we'll outline it with black eyeshadow as well. You'll see in a minute how it looks like. So just keep blending, it looks bad right now, but there really is no wrong or right to this because the messier the look, it looks, it's just gonna look cooler. So as you can see, if that's a word, I am taking a black eyeshadow and kind of lining like so you saw me do it on the other eye that's why i'm kind of out of frame here and it just gives it a nice cool gradient effect and you can kind of blend it on the sides now i'm covering my lips with the white eyeshadow in this palette because i am just going to be making kind of like skull teeth so yeah i just don't i want the kind of dead look but my lips are so naturally pink i mean it's a blessing but also a curse when it comes to looks like this because i am using weirdo by jeffree star cosmetics and i'm having the hardest time lining my lips but also take a black liquid eyeliner and just kind of create lines on your lips to look like you're just kind of like a skeleton look it's i don't know how other how any other way to explain it so yeah, I'm just creating the mouth and then we're gonna go in and shade the cheekbone area, which is my favorite part to do. So I'll, after we're done doing this, connecting the mouth, I am going to create the cheekbone shaded jaw, I guess, effect is what you like to call it. So I'm taking my liquid eyeliner and just connecting it like so to the mouth, creating another little line. And then with a the Jeffree Star, Cremated palette. I am just going to take from darkest to light. So I'm taking a black eyeshadow, a dark grayish black eyeshadow, a dark gray, a gray, and then a light gray, and then a white. So that's what's going to give you the gradient effect. You ha can't be lazy because it will show up in person if you didn't blend it out right. So it does take time. If you're not going out and you just want to take pictures, I guess you don't have to go that hard, but. If you're gonna go out you want to make sure that you do the gradient because then it'll just look cool and it'll look like art on your face so I just do this and then you're gonna repeat the same step on the other side of the face obviously I don't think I show that on camera because this part took forever I wasn't going out so I didn't make it that precise but I wanted to show you guys all the lashes I have I had so many lashes that I got from Look Fantastic. I couldn't make up my mind. It was between these Lily lashes and Eyler Lux 3D. So I chose the 3D ones and I'm using Lash Paradise, the one that I got off lookfantastic.com and just coating my lashes before I place those beautiful Lux 3D lashes on. So I'm gonna stick those right on after the glue is dry. I did put one mesh contact in because I wanted to see how it looked like. And then I placed the other and that's how it looks. The contacts is what makes this look. It looks boring without the contacts. Now, if you guys wanna keep this a skull look 100%, I'd recommend putting a nose on you, but I did kinda want it to look more clown-like, so I didn't, but the nose would definitely look really cool, but I hope you guys enjoyed this haunting, blended look. It's just something super simple and easy to do. All right, guys, you can follow me on the gram if you wanna see my Halloween posts and see what I'm up to. See you guys soon, bye.